Hey guys, Money here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, six awesome wall breaches on Watch Dogs 2. Now, yes, this is a Watch Dogs 2 game uh, video, so it's a little bit different, but uh, I do hope you guys still enjoy it. Anyways, we'll be talking through the whole thing. Um, on the map there a second ago, you just saw that is the first location for this first wall breach here. You guys will need a motorcycle for it. Uh, obviously and you guys will also need a very pissed off civilian that will come after you run after you and uh, Just yank you off the bike now the reason you need a wall uh, Civilian specifically is because when they pull you off the bike They actually push you back and that causes you to actually right go through uh, pretty much anything uh, Any wall anywhere in the game really as you can see here Very easy to do and this is a very good wall breach this one you can shoot out in some areas where it's glass so that's pretty fun and um, yeah the next wall breach will be coming up here in a little bit uh, I'm just gonna explore in this area here and uh, one of the wall breaches that I do show you guys is uh, relatively it's not new uh, it's been around since the game came out and uh, you guys will probably see that I don't it's not the next one but it's the one after that um, so yeah and this is the next one coming up right now uh, this one you guys uh, it's a little bit different it's just really a part of the map that is not available or that wasn't put in properly so uh, you guys will see that here you will need this specific climb uh scissor lift here and uh, show you guys the location of this on the map here in a moment um, but once you guys are over at this location here you want to go ahead climb inside of the scissor lift and you want to you just want to drive where i drive and you will need to raise a scissor lift all the way to the top in order to actually get up into this area but what this is is like I said it is part of the map that was unfinished so there's no actual floor to it uh, so you're going on a roof and you're gonna fall down inside of a building so that's pretty cool and uh, like I said it's it's pretty pretty stupid of UB to actually do that and not even finish parts of the game like you guys will see a couple of these spots are just unfinished and they mistakenly fucked it up and they didn't do it but what you guys want to do is just drive over here to this little patio setting here and you want to drive up and it's right in between these two buildings here uh, right in there when you jump off of the climb backs uh, off of the scissor lift you will notice that as you can see there it is totally uh, unfinished and you just jump right in there and you fall right down to the ground you may get hurt a little bit um, but once you guys are down here you should survive and then uh, you can explore under all these and inside of all of these buildings which is pretty cool um, this wall breach specifically I don't think you can shoot out of since it's mainly a concrete building with very little windows so keep that in mind as well once you guys enter it in um, but yeah let's without without further ado let's get into the next wall breach here alright so uh, this is the wall breach I was talking about uh, you guys saw it on the map there a moment ago this one has been around since forever and again it is another part of the unfinished map and the unfinished mess that Ubisoft made I still do enjoy this game don't get me wrong but just some of these things they they should not be in the game like this like they should have some better quality control before they release such a broken product but as you can see there you can see this giant hole in the ground and that is a part of the map that is clearly unfinished so you can drop right in there and um yeah, you, you can't really do anything in this. It's just a pretty interesting under-the-map glitch. That is the exact location right there. But once you jump in there, uh, you will free fall for a little bit, and then you'll just be frozen. So in order to get out, you just uh, pull up the map and fast travel. It's very easy to do. But here I'm just going to show you guys what happens. You free fall for a second, and then as you can see there, you're just stuck in the air. So uh, once you're like that, just uh, teleport out, and then you're pretty much good to go. Alright, so uh, this is the next wall breach right here. You guys need to come to this location over here on the map underneath this little overpass here. Now, once you guys are here, you need to get a relatively small car like I have here, which is pretty much the Volkswagen Golf. And you want to go ahead and climb up this uh, little hill here and park yourself underneath the uh, overpass. But you want to park it in a sense so... Um, the driver's door is blocked so when you get out of the car you are actually on top of the roof of the car and uh, not teleported behind it like I just was there so it took me another try here another try or two I believe and I end up getting it and like I said it's very easy to do all of these are very easy which uh, just leads you to sh this leads to show you some fucking issues that have been with this game like this type of shit shouldn't be going on but um yeah, fuck up that too, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and launch that car all the way off the back of that overpass and uh, just try one more time, and this time I do end up getting it. Like I said, you just need to go ahead, park your car as close to the wall on the left-hand side, the driver's side as possible, so your character ends up jumping 
uh, not jumping, but uh, he climbs on top of the car out of the window, as you can see there. And if done correctly, you'll wall breach inside of the highway above you. And once you're here, you cannot shoot out of this location because you're surrounded by concrete. And as you can see, there's an, over, or an overpass of light there, so that's pretty cool. And like I said, you can't shoot out of that one, unfortunately. So here we have the uh, fifth one on the map on the game actually and this is really close to that one i just previously showed you um all right and uh yeah this is the one here uh this is a pretty much the similar thing part of an unfinished map but in this case this is a great hiding spot for if you're doing online hacking invasions and whatnot so you just want to come over to this bush and just walk forward slowly and then walk more towards the wall and once you do that just call in like your little drone guy not the cog quadcopter as you can see it doesn't really work but the drone works perfectly it gets your guy to sit down and you are completely hidden right there in that hole in the ground because this game is unfinished now as you can see uh you can get yourself a little bit further down in there so you're pretty much completely hidden um and yeah, this is great for online hacking invasion. So be sure to keep an eye out for this as uh, people may be using this against you. So be sure to keep an eye out before you get into one of those. Uh, this one's just good for that. It's not really good for anything else because obviously you could still die in it. So it's not the greatest. But uh, this one is uh, pretty good, like I said, for online hacking invasions and uh, tricking other people as they will not be expecting you there until um, or unless they actually watch this video so this is the sixth and final little area here what you want to do is come to this location on the map and um, once you guys are here you will see this flower bed slash flower uh, planter and it's another case just like the one before this as you can see there is a hole in the ground where your guy just fits ever so perfectly in there nice and cozy like a little fucking badger or some shit pull out your quadcopter for this one works really well since you're not really blocked above you and uh yeah you're pretty much hidden as long as your guy's sitting down maybe throw him in some uh green colors or something and then he'll blend right in and yeah that is pretty much it for this video though guys i do hope you enjoy it i know it's something a little bit different but like i said i cover every single game pretty much um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video if you do please be sure to leave a like and make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video peace